comes from a very basic fact, the fact that women and people from minoritized groups are really unrepresented in the art world. It comes from uh, the willingness to change that, and it comes from our own experience at European Alternatives that showing that it's not that easy to change the way uh, we can program, we can show artists. So Room to Bloom has been built with a real feminist approach, an approach that wants to give space to women or people in the identifying as women or people uh, feminists who are sympathizing with the feminist cause and with a diversity of people, a diversity that is present in Europe and that is often not present in exhibitions, showing, or not present enough. So we have uh, conceived a drifting. We're navigating the city all together, creating spaces of collaboration with the local entities, um, communities, artists, and even uh, international artists that operate in Palermo's just uh, uprising um, art scene. We're looking to rewrite, to explore, to understand what are the narratives that um, construct our world today so we can bring forward new ways of being together and new forms of coexistence. We decided to come to Palermo uh, also on the invitation and partnership with Studio Rizoma. And we decided to connect with the city and discuss the questions of decolonization of racism, of patriarchalism, but in a way that is connected to what's happening in the city, what happened in the past, what's happening now. We're determined to create space for people to confront, to examine, to discuss, and to seed in long-term relationships that will hopefully bring this program forward into the future, bringing new collaborations uh, between the local realities and a wider, wider stand um, network of international artists and curators. has selected a hundred artists who have applied through an open call to participate in a training program and in a support program that helps them show their work at international level. And each of them has expressed his interest for one of those topics, eco-feminism, uh, leveraging obstacles to professional careers and post-colonial, decolonial feminism. So here in uh, Palermo, we have 30 people who have chosen to be here, chosen to work on these topics. I decided to apply to Room to Bloom because it is an opportunity to develop a critical thinking about, about urgent questions and to connect different, usually oppressed, desires and forces. I am presenting tonight a new uh, sculptural and sound installation. Uh, titled The Last Surviving Northern White Rhinoceros. And it's a work uh, dedicated to uh, animal species that are slowly disappearing from our world. I decided to apply to Room to Bloom because uh, as a, a young queer artist, like navigating the art world, I felt that this 
uh, occasion could be nice for me to find a sense of community in like similar art practice, practices and find like similar artists around, uh, create a network, like find, find a, a sense of community and have a chance to explore like themes and, and critical viewpoints that my works deal with, so to find a confrontation with me. I decided to apply for Room to Bloom because I find uh, similar discourses uh, to my practice that uh, Room to Bloom was using uh, in their program, so I found it like very fitting to what I'm doing and uh, my interests. Um, and also I wanted to build uh, a new alliances uh, with people who are sharing similar struggles uh, in patriarchal society.